Integrated pest management um, basically means taking taking appropriate measures that discourage the development of pest populations and keep keeping pesticides and other um, interventions to levels that are economically justified and reduces or minimizes risk to human health and the environment. IPM or integrated pest management means that there has been a policy put in place so that people um, won't over apply or overuse pesticides thus incurring um, additional or unneeded cost plus on top of that if you over apply then there is a, a greater need for um, for the environment to be impacted and by that I mean you know pesticides you know or even herbicides but for this point pesticides may leach out into the environment whereas if you didn't apply more than you needed then that wouldn't happen or it would be a, a, a lesser chance of that happening. The Cooperative Extension Service, um, we are a service that provides education to the public. So we are an educating entity, much like yourselves. We educate the public on anything from um, pest management, uh, family consumer science, 4-H, horticulture. So my, my job is really broad. I'm an agricultural technician. And the Extension Service is, is comprised of NC State University and NC a and State University. I'm on the a and State University side. And what my position with the Extension Service at a and based on my responsibilities are the agricultural technician is responsible for providing one-on-one -on -one on farm assistance to persons engaged in small-scale agriculture. The technician also assists a small and or part-time farmer in identifying and solving their home, farm, and community problems. The area of responsibility includes, but is not limited to, animal science, horticulture, farm management, natural resources, and general activities and programs designed to strengthen the family farm. I work with small and limited or small and part-time farmers. Um, that's my mandate through A&T State University. But whomever um, calls, whomever has a question, you know, an internet question, whomever comes in the office with a question, we try to assist them because um, right now with our office, we don't have a horticulture agent. So I'm assisting our extension director in answering you know, horticulture questions, um, consumer horticulture, um, and some row crop questions as well, like dealing with soybean, wheat, cotton, corn, tobacco as well. Basically, I communicate through email, um, through news articles, one-on-one um, -on, -one on farm visits, um, answering phone um, calls, and also we do um, workshops too. I grew up on a family farm and the interest started there. Um, I saw the advertisement in the newspapers and didn't really know exactly what I was applying for. Um, but once I, I was hired, actually I had a lot of extensive trainings and workshops um, from horticulture to entomology, um, a little crop science. Um, so basically, my position, you don't have to have a four-year degree or a master's degree. Um, so basically, the most of my training has been on-the-job training and seminars and workshops. I would advise anyone interested in a career in extension to actually take a course in extension themselves and then depending upon what field they want to, to, um, to be in or what job they want to be in, whether it's a 4-H agent, whether it's a family consumer science agent, court agent or specialist or even an agricultural technician. The basis of knowing exactly what extension is about will help them will help them a great deal.